All right. Shalom, shalom. Before I begin this video, all the praise, honor, and glory goes into Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. And a sincere salutations to you, hopeful elect Akim, who are pushing this word in sincerity and in faith all throughout the four winds of the earth. To you, I say shalom, shalom to the elect of Israel. So let me just go ahead and play this, man. This shit is hilarious. All right, councilman arrested after allegedly smoking crack and passing out <laughs> in the car. After court, okay? Literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, you, you have a crack pipe in your hands. Hey, <laughs> well, you well, arrest is gonna come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, you, you have a crack pipe in your hands. A city councilman in Cranston, Rhode Island, faces a drug charge after a police officer finds him sleeping in his car with a crack pipe in his hand. Oh, man. Thanks for joining us here on Law & Crime. Oh. I'm Anjanette Levy. That Cranston police officer's body camera recorded the interaction he had with Councilman Matthew Riley earlier this week. Take a look. You can see Riley sleeping, his mouth <laughs> wide open. You on that dope. <laughs> Oh, shit, he on that dope, boy. <laughs> Esau down bad, man. Esau, oh, man, bro. <laughs> oh, this nigga got a crack pipe in his head. He just nodded off. <laughs> he got his stunner shades on. These are the, see, these are the fucking people that are, you know, <laughs> In certain, you know, positions of power. This nigga a councilman. Okay. Hey, your favorite prime minister is doing the same thing. These different people in government, they doing the same shit. They all doing the same shit. Okay. He just couldn't wait till he got home to do that shit. He had to go ahead and do and you and you see that's a that's a demon. Right? That that crack. That's an actual demon. Like, you can see he got a demon on him. Okay? Officer approaches. Riley has a lighter <laughs> and a pipe in his hand. The officer uh, he put that crack pipe up quick. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. And a pipe in Look his how hand. quick he snapped out of the interaction he had with Councilman That's how you, that's Riley how you can tell. He probably really week. wasn't even asleep. Take a look. You he was just see high Riley on that sleeping, shit. Look his at mouth it. wide open as the officer approaches. Riley has a lighter and a pipe in his hand. The officer rouses him from his sleep. You have any weapons on you? No, not at all. Yeah. Alright. Roads open, Boston. You need to get stopped sure. right now to uh, yeah, rotate on. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes, yes. I was just taking, I was just on my way back from court. Bro. Uh, well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, you, you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Wait, sorry. But listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yeah, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that, and uh, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so arrest is gonna come here, oh, and Jesus. they're gonna check you out. You know, you, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I no. can't. You know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health and well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it. You know, they can have that back. Thank you. There will, will be no arrest. What? There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any? Are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No. No. Nothing. All right. No. The officer questions Riley about he his nervous. drug use. He's forthcoming and discusses struggling with addiction. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it was a it was a relapse. I been clean for thirteen years. All right. Just went through a really really bad divorce recently. Okay. Um. Uh, do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out, out, and like, looked like you were choking. 
Really? Yeah. Um, That's why some of them literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, no, not that I know of. EMTs arrive to check out Riley as the police officers search his vehicle, which is littered with trash and junk. The officer found a chore boy scouring pad in the glove box. Chore boy is made of copper and metal. Drug users sometimes use a chore boy to make a crack pipe. You got a test kit? Yeah. So, um, it's over here. A second officer arrives. They approach the vehicle to test suspected drugs found in the car. What's wrong with this guy? It's your whole life. Mm-hmm. I'm a drain for a while. You don't know him at all? You guys don't know. I've never met him in my life. We'll probably dig out just a small little rock so we don't have to break anything. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the powder. Uh, the powder? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll try to do it. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, because he was on the nod. Or like, it yeah, seems like it's anyways. It's mixed with something else, but... Do you need this knife? Yeah, it leans up. Be careful with that stuff. Is I don't know if that's fentanyl lace or not. There's white all over it. He doesn't yeah. know. Uh, yeah, I was just telling him the same thing. Because, I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah. Like, just yeah. Good enough. Well, he claims he was tired and he, and he may have sleep apnea, but I don't think that's going to... Well, especially like this. Yeah. Yeah, only calm a lot, too. It's like, you stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, uh, right away. Fentanyl? Oh, uh, coke. Yeah. Crack. Perfect. Crack. I can test it for fentanyl, too. Test it for both, just to make sure, because I don't know what we're dealing with. Well, can you just have a picture of that? Especially yeah. if you put him in a cell. The sergeant on scene tells the officers to charge Riley. Then they look at a white powder on his driver's seat. I want to have his mother come get the car, but I'm not... I want to have No, I'm not getting in there no. touching all that. All that white powder, is that... That's a piece of crap. So lucky. Fucking, uh, ads. Get summer ready with Cons Home Plus. Save up to 40% on select hot buy appliances. And yeah, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely crack. Yeah, yeah most likely. Yeah, you can smell it and it ain't burning up. He has a bunch of toy boy and... Should we have a toy? It looks no, like it's like half a, living out of this car. That's private like property. Geez. We're good. We're on private property. And this guy's yeah, got... Look at this. He's got a problem. all the uh, evidence stuff. Thank you. All right, so um, is he, the rest is good with him? Yeah, they're just finishing up right now. He's got the, he's got the blue on everything on yep. See it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on. It's all, they're uh, finishing up right now. That was in his uh, glove compartment. The first officer on scene also removed a crack pipe from Riley's vehicle. Riley appears to be okay after leaving EMTs and talking to the officer. Yeah, I know. I sound like I have an option in there. Sorry. Oh, you got any nine? Oh, uh, I got a Alright, there's stuff all over that car. When your mother gets in that car, I bet she sits in that and touches her face or mouth and goes down. I have no idea. So, look. No, no, I mean, the... yeah, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah. Did you buy that today? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. yeah. You know, is the same guy you usually buy it from? No, I mean, I mean, uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever you buy it from, if you if you continuously buy it from, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. No, I, I understand. You know, they may have made that. Person. That's a big rock you got in there. What's that? A fifty dollar piece? Uh, Hundred. Hundred. Yeah. So I just just got back into this. Yeah, you gotta. This is gonna listen. I. This is terrible situation. We're all in a tough spot, but we gotta do what we gotta do right by the numbers. And it'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you. And you'll say to us a month from now, good best thing that ever happened. To me. That's what we all tell us. 
you can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid no, we find you dead. That that would that's terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? You were down in the car. No, I had to put set up on the 17th to go help you. Yeah. You just you, you, you gotta get on a program right away. No, that, I, I mean was, I look at you, yeah. you're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust me. And I listen, your health and your well being is worth way more. Than any political career. I don't Riley then expresses his concern about the media finding out about his arrest. Well, we, we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So, and then arrest records are public record. I'm not going to lie. But there's, there's, there's not much we can do on this. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of media for kids, as much. As yeah, no. Require. Listen, we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. All right, jump in before you. We just want to make sure we're gonna monitor you because you. Yeah. Just, I'm gonna pipe down here. All right. Fentanyl, Matt, and that's that's you know we've got to make sure you're, you you don't may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, no, I've never done that. Feel terrible about that, you know. I mean, you're not going to be there all day. You'll be in and out. I'm going to keep your wallet with me. I have your phone already. Do you okay. want me to throw this stuff in the car real quick? Sure. All right. Just step on in here. I'll buck you up. So, you know, uh, if he was a Jake, you already, you already know what would be happening. You know, he'd be beating his ass, uh, you know, all types of stuff. But, you know, obviously, he's the damn devil. So, they, you know, they're going to be light on him. And, you know, the so-called white man is always going to help out, you know, the, the, the so-called white man. They're just going to help each other out because, you know, hey. It, it, it is what it is so let um, me just do a, a quick precept and I'm in the video but you know what I mean this is your uh, this is the face of a lot of your <laughs> of a lot of your elected officials man just nodded off just gone just demons just demons on them you know it's just what it is, man. Okay. All right, so this is Ephesians 6. Now, I'll actually start at 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. What are some of the wiles of the devil? Uh, it includes... And includes, you know, these uh, different drugs. Now, we're not just talking about crack, per se. We're talking about all these. We're talking about all these different, um, you know, devices of the devil. One of one of the main ways that this damn devil controls society uh, is through these drugs, man. Okay. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the biggest, uh, the biggest plug in the world is the so-called white man. OK, now they had a story of uh, they had a J.P. Morgan boat, a boat that was owned by J.P. Morgan that had, uh, you know, copious amounts of crack. I can't remember what the, uh, you know, I can't remember the exact number, but you know, it was like tons and tons and tons, allegedly, <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's what E, that's what E is going to say, you know, allegedly, you know, he had all this going on, uh, and got caught up. So, you know, it, it, see, this devil, see, he rules over his own people, man. Okay? And see, part of this nigga ruling, part of this, you know, these old, uh, you know, so-called elite bankers, part of them ruling, right, is them flooding the streets with these drugs, man. Verse 13, wherefore take unto you 
the whole armor of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Right? And in them time hey, and in them times of Jacob's trouble and the time of the Lord's return, right, by us, the Israelites, you know, following the law of sexual commandments to the best of our ability, following Yahweh Shem Shai to the best of our ability, serving him, okay, we can do all that we can to stand. See, cause you can't it's not like how people in the world are where they, you know, they do this, they do you know, they smoke. Oh, I smoke crack, but but you know, God knows my heart. No, man. No, man. We have to do. We have to fight. All right. Hey, and and the water you how about show me how it's shot? Cause you know, different brothers smoke. You know, different brothers used to smoke. Okay, I used to smoke weed. Shit. All right, then, then what did you have to do? You had to, you had to fast hard as hell, fast, pray, okay, and then boom. Now we don't no more. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. And in this society, if you don't smoke, you're seen as a as a weirdo. Unfortunately, you know what I mean. But that's just what it is, man. We're you know, we are a sane clean, you know, uh, individuals in a world of just dirty, you know what I mean? You just tell you had just like a dirty kind of spirit to him. You know, he was an Edomite. You know, this guy that got busted, you know, you could tell you he was an Edomite. But, uh, you know, they're going to continue to protect him. You know, everybody's going to come up with excuses. Okay, mental, you know, health and all this other shit, man. Which really, that's, all that is demons. All right, all those different um, things that they say people have, really those are demons, man. That's why you see a lot of those people that do all these drugs, and they're all whacked out and you know, just weird and off. That's demons on them. Okay, so it really don't matter whether he does or does not, you know, do drugs, man. Because ultimately he's he's eating my man. And best believe, and best believe he gonna hit that shit. After all is said and done, you know, give it about a month, he gonna be right back on it. Okay, most likely. Okay, so with that, Lord's will, you are edified. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kodash. Once again, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and the sincere salutations. To you hopeful elect out there who are pushing this word in sincerity and in faith. Barak Atha Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Ha Raka Kodash. Barak Atham to you sincere and you hopeful elect out there. This is your brother Gawar Ira. And may Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai watch over you brothers, man. All right, stay prayed up. Keep your head up through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, Shalom.